Good day all together. My name is Michael Wormser. I'm the founder from Norge Mining. Now, you must think, what does a mining company do here on stage in a green tech event? Well, the answer is quite simple. But let me first start with a saying, and this is important, and it's rega it regards all of us. We did not inherit this planet from our parents. We borrowed it from our children. And this is exactly the vision we all should have. So this is why I'm here. Important is for you to know that everything what you can see here has been at some point a raw material, everything. And in order to get it here where it is, you need to process it. You need to dig it out of the ground. You need to dig the raw materials out of the ground. So that means without mining, no green transition. That's a fact. So this is why mining is important. As a mining company, basically, we are holding a great responsibility because if you want to be sustainable, if you want to have a sustainable value chain and a sustainable product, it begins there where the stuff gets out of the ground in the beginning of the value chain. If mining has not been done in a sustainable and mindful way, then the entire value chain becomes tainted, including the product. So basically, mining hold, is holding the key, basically, to sustainability, to food security as well. And there's no clean and digital trans, uh, transition without our materials, without critical raw materials. Now I give you one example. What are we doing where we are? We are in Norway, in the southwest of Norway. We have discovered a phosphate rock with various other minerals inside of this rock. So, for instance, phosphate. Phosphate is a mineral you need in food security to feed the world. But phosphate, when you further process it, you also get phosphorus. And phosphorus you need, and it's important for car batteries. Phosphorus is important for semiconductors, for chips. And phosphorus is important also to produce solar panel. Now, what if I tell you that phosphorus today is being produced in China, in Vietnam, and in Kazakhstan with a heavy pollution of CO2? And this, pro this, product, this product goes into solar panels. It goes into our car batteries. So you will tell yourself, hey, my battery in my car is not sustainable. My solar panel I have on the roof is not sustainable. My chips, my semiconductors I have in my iPhone with the phosphorus inside is also not a green product. So this means Mining companies have a great responsibility. And if we have the possibility to do mining in a mindful, sustainable way, we have to do it. And then we create the green value chain, including the product. So in our case, for instance, what we do, we can produce the phosphorus on the site where we are, where we dig out the phosphate off the ground. We produce a lot, a lot of CO2. But we carbon capture the CO2. We carbon capture it, we liquefy it, and we storage it in the seabeds of the North Sea. That makes phosphorus a green product. And then you have a green value chain. And then you can say, my solar panel is green. And then you can say, my battery is green in the car. So this is why it's important to know mining is um, unevitable part of the green transition. For instance, also, we had last year an interesting uh, workshop with the United Nations, 
and we were speaking about um, supply chains. So looking back, we had two black swan events. We had a pandemic, and we are still in an unfortunate, very sad, in a war. The pandemic has shown us about supply chains, how dependent we are on the supply from Asia. So if we are dependent on supply from Asia and we have a pandemic, then we suffer in the West because those value chains become completely, these supply chains completely are completely disrupted. And if there is a war taking place, there are countries that don't shy away basically to weaponize raw materials. That means it is important to try to become independent by verticalizing, verticalizing vertical value creation. That means wherever you are and you dig out the raw materials, you produce the product in the downstream. This is what we have said last year also in the United Nations when we spoke about vertical value creation. Actually, vertical value creation should be the SDG point number 18 of D17. Because vertical value creation gives autonomy, but vertical value creation as well actually avoids transportation from a raw material from Africa to China, 15,000 kilometers. CO2 footprint is horrible. You produce it, we don't know what kind of circumstances the product is being produced in China. And it's being transported another 20,000 kilometers around the globe until it reaches Silicon Valley, until it reaches our batteries. There again, mining is an important part of the green transition. And there again, as I said, from the very beginning, when you dig out the raw material of the ground, you can do the highest, you have the highest leverage, you have the highest impact on climate and in on, on environment. This is why mining companies are holding also great responsibility for the green transition. They're holding actually the largest part of responsibility. Now you will say, oh, mining is dirty, mining is horrible. You're right, but mining was always, has always this negative connotation to the geography. When you have mining operations in countries like Canada or Australia or Norway, one should support that. This is important. And I believe that when we all go together and push ahead with governments, with decision makers, and create this this unique uh, value chain with, from the beginning where the mining takes place until the end where the product is being produced, then you have a whole green value chain, including the green product. And that is actually what we are all aiming for. And this is actually also why, never forget what I said in the beginning, we did not inherit the planet from our parents. We borrowed it from our children, and this is exactly where all of our responsibility lays. Thank you very much for your attention.